In the wake of COVID-19, we know how important washing our hands is in protecting ourselves and those around us. It is now basic knowledge to do so, but this wasn't always the case. Igdash Semmelweis, now known as the father of infection control, was born on the 1st of July 1818 in Hungary, obtaining a doctor's degree at the University of Pest in Vienna before working in the Vienna General Hospital in 1844. There, he investigated the cause of childbed fever, becoming the first doctor to recognize the importance of hand washing. Hygiene in general was very poor in the 19th century, and so as a result, childbed fever was a big problem that was often fatal. The hospital Semmelweis worked at had two maternity clinics, the first one having a higher infection and death rate than the second. This was known to the public, and so someone would rather give birth in the street just to avoid the clinic. Even so, the people in the first clinic were still most likely to get ill, suggesting that something was fundamentally wrong with the clinic. Semmelweis knew that the two clinics used almost exactly the same techniques, but the only difference was the people who worked there, with medical students working in the first, whilst the second was for student midwives. However, his breakthrough was only in 1847, when a physician and good friend of his, Jacob Kolechka, had accidentally cut himself during a post-mortem examination and died. Realizing that his autopsy was similar to that of his patients, he proposed that invisible particles of decaying animal organic matter were spread from the autopsy room to the clinic, causing childbed fever. This would explain why the infection was more common in the first clinic, as only the medical students would examine the dead bodies before working with patients. And so in May of 1847, Samuel Weish introduced the policy of washing hands using a solution of chlorinated lime. He thought that it would destroy the invisible particles, which worked as it caused the mortality rate to drop by 90%. However, Semmelweis' ideas were not immediately accepted, as it went against the understanding of the time. Doctors still believed that disease was spread through bad air or unfavorable cosmic terrestrial influences, and so to them, his ideas were absurd and lacked a scientific basis. Some doctors were even offended at the suggestion that their hands were unclean, thinking that gentlemen of high social statuses such as themselves could not possibly have dirty peasant hands. Unsurprisingly, the constant mocking and rejection led to a swift decline in Samuel Weish's mental health, and by 1865, the emotional exhaustion and depression he suffered from became too much, triggering a mental breakdown which sent him to a mental institution, where only after two weeks he died of sepsis on the 13th of August at the age of 47. Only following the development of germ theory was his research accepted, and people realized how significant his contributions were to the future of medicine. And that is the story of Agdash Semmelweis.